Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell G7 and the model is a 7700 model. If you want to know the regulatory model for this one is a P46E001. Those information can be found on the bottom of the laptop right over on the sticker. The regulatory is an REG, the model, and is a Dell G7 7700 model. And in this video, I'm gonna go over how you can open it up and how you can upgrade the RAM and what are the max RAM capacity that you can have. I made a really short video how you can check by yourself to double check your maximum RAM capacity for your laptop. I'll leave that link in the video description so you can double check it and see it. There's no program required to install. It's really simple. Check that out. And for this video, I'm just gonna show you guys how to open it up and how to replace or remove the RAM. Just remember by upgrading and removing the RAM, you're not gonna change anything in the configuration or anything like that. It's just pretty much plug and play, and that should be all. So first thing first, make sure you turn off the laptop and the laptop is powered off. And then you wanna flip it upside down. This is a pretty hefty laptop. Upside down, and we're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. We're gonna remove the bottom, the service cover or the bottom cover. We're gonna grab ourselves the screwdriver set. I'll be using the iFixit screwdriver set as they have one of the best screwdrivers out there. This is the basic screwdriver set. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and some tweezers and a few other stuff. In this case, I'm gonna grab a Phillips number one. And uh, for the opening tools, we are gonna be using a guitar pick and metallic guitar picks are suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this set, and now we're gonna start removing the screws on the bottom cover. Pretty much the screws, when you just rotate them, you're gonna see it's gonna separate itself from the bottom casing, just like that. It's uh, focusing too hard. And because the screw has a little C-lock on the other side, it will prevent the screw coming out. And it, it helps the, to separate the cover from the uh, palm rest. So pretty much all you wanna do, you wanna rotate all the screws and then you hear a tiny click like that. It's not focusing, so let's put this one here. You can maybe focus on that. There you go. So we're gonna loosen up all the screws. If any screw comes out completely, remove them. I I believe that only one screw has a C-lock, so it can help you from one corner to open it up. So let's see. If the screw comes out, it comes out. If it doesn't come out, it probably has a C-lock. So go ahead and remove them and keep them in a one pile. So I see that the screws on the corners, they do have a C-lock, both of them, they lift up. So let's go to the corners. These corners again, doesn't have any. On the back side, there is nothing. So two front screws has a C-lock. There you go. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking that like and subscribe, I greatly appreciate it. All right, so Right now here, we can see that the bottom cover is already separated. So we can just put your fingers in here and just lift it up. And bring it up, pull it towards yourself. So there's the bottom coffee, bottom cover. There's a tiny clip that hook it in here and holds it. So you pretty much have to pull it out. It is on one side. And then we can see the huge battery and the two fan heatsink and the RAM right in front of you. And right now, right away, I'm gonna hear people saying you should disconnect the battery. You do not need to disconnect the battery to remove the RAM or hard drive or SSD, anything like that is absolutely not necessary. As long as you turn off the laptop, you're fine. And the best example is many other manufacturers, they don't, um, for doing RAM upgrade or SSD upgrade, they don't let you remove the whole, they don't want you to remove the whole Plate. So they just give you an access for the cover for the RAM or cover for the hard drive cover. And they don't give you an access for the in disconnecting internal battery. And that said is because you do not need to remove the battery to do your upgrades uh, on a laptop. All right. So, if, but if you wanna be paranoid and you wanna disconnect the battery, just put your two fingers on the side of the jack and pull it back evenly. And that's how you disconnect it. There you go, that's how you disconnect. But to show you guys not, I'm gonna pull it back in because I don't need to disconnect there. All right, right away then we can see the RAM, there's a two RAM slot available in here. If your task manager says there's a four DIM, is untrue, it's only two, there's no other two RAM slot. To remove the RAM, you need to put your two fingers on the side of the triggers. 
and pull them away and the ram will come out in 45 degree angle just like that and all you want to do is pull it back on a 45 degree angle too so do not yank it upward otherwise you're going to crack the ram or the dim most probably the dim so pull it back slide it back same thing in here pull it back doesn't matter the orientation of the ram chip so as long as the notch on the ram matches the notch right on the dim so if you try to put it the other way around it will simply not go through because the notch do not match and you want to put it back in you want to bring it down in 45 degree all the way in here and then push it towards the motherboard and you're going to hear these two triggers open and close and make a tiny click sound like that same thing in here bring it down in 45 push it towards the motherboard this one's a little more softer and it clicked nicely because there's a little plastic handles this one has a metal handles no idea why all right that's how you can upgrade you can put a 16 gig and 16 gig to have a 32 gig ram we have upgraded these are ddr4 rams so you can put a 16 gig and 16 gig to have a total of uh, 32 gig ram let's say that you connected the ram if you have disconnected the battery plug it back in and once you're done with that all you need to do it's you don't need to put the bottom power to power on and test it you can just flip it over and just turn it on and double check make sure there is powering on when you turn it on it might take up to 10 to 15 seconds for it to boot up because it's going to do a ram check which is called a min check so it might take even up to 30 seconds in some occasions that's going to be initial power on so be patient on the first boot so don't panic oh it's not turning on give it a time give it 30 seconds and it will eventually power on and if it doesn't power on just remove both rams in swipe them and do it again and it will boot up with no problem if you have it and once you finish with that all you need to do is grab the bottom cover you want to slide the back end underneath the back plastic right there slide it nicely underneath in a 45 degree angle make sure you have to go in there we go once it's in there now you want to push it down hold it and screw the corners so you can pull the cover to itself and the last thing is to just put the bottom screws all over the place they screws out the same size and height so you can't mismatch them there's no reason to be worried i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screws